Hey everyone, it's Jacob. Welcome to another daily vlog episode. Have you ever noticed in some organizations that there are some leaders that everybody loves and admires and respects and everybody wants to be part of their team? And in that same organization, you have leaders that everybody hates. Uh, people want to get away from this person. Nobody wants to be a part of their team. And it really makes me wonder, how is it that in one organization you can have these two very different types of leaders? After all, the organization has their values and everybody should apparently subscribe to those values. So you would think that in a company, every leader that matches up to those values would be a great leader. Yet we still have so many leaders inside of organizations that everybody hates. And again, in the same company, a bunch of leaders that everybody loves. And I've been thinking about this for quite some time, and this is something that I talk about in my new book, uh, The Future Leader. And the reason why this happens is because the people who promoted each one of those leaders have different definitions of what leadership means to them. This is why it's so crucial for leaders and collectively for organizations around the world before they even start thinking about leadership training or development or anything like that. It's to sit down and actually define what does leadership mean and who is a leader? Because once you have that defined, what'll happen is it'll create the right filters in place that match up to that definition. So for example, um, you look at the, the example that I'm sharing, right? Of organizations where you have some leaders everybody loves, others that everybody hates. So the reason why that happens is because the people who promoted them, the, lead, the leader that everybody hates, the person who promoted that leader probably had a definition of leadership that was very focused on ROI, on delegation, on results, on closing deals, on bringing in the most amount of money to, to the organization. And the other leader that everybody loves, the person who promoted them, probably had a definition of leadership that, while it did have some focus on results and business metrics, also probably talked about uh, being a good person, coaching and mentoring, engaging, empowering, motivating, inspiring others. And so if you want to have great leaders inside of your organization that people want to work for, it starts with defining what does leadership mean and who is a leader. And then, as I mentioned, the filters that you have in place will match up to that definition. So how do you define leadership? And who's a leader that you look up to and emulate and respect and why? All right, that's it for me. It's quite late here. Uh, tomorrow is my last day recording the audio version for The Future Leader. And my, my poor throat <laughs> can't take more than another day, actually. So uh, I'm quite happy to be done. And the new book is coming out in just a few weeks. So if you haven't grabbed a copy yet, I would love it if you do. You can find a copy at getfutureleaderbook.com and that'll redirect you to all the right places. And if you like these videos, make sure to leave a comment, subscribe, uh, follow me on whatever channel you're using, and I'll make sure to do more of these throughout the year. Have a good night. Or I should say a good day. Bye-bye.